Well, speaking of which, the fallout continues today after the MSU Board of Trustees voted to censure three members of the eight-member board last night and refer two of them to the governor to decide whether they should even stay in office. Now, that's after a report released by a law firm saying they violated several code of ethics policies. And today, students are speaking out, including one who says she was even mentioned in that report. Yes, Daryl Horn caught up with her. She's here for you now with that story. That's right, Sharon Siobhan. Rima Vassa resigned from her position as chair of the board two hours before that special meeting happened last night. While some agree disciplinary action for Vassar, trustee Dennis Denno, and trustee Brianna Scott should happen, others say this is a way to knock down people of color in positions of power. I'm not the one who's in charge of the university. I shouldn't be even thinking about this. More controversy for Michigan State University after allegations of bullying and misconduct done by at least three board members. An investigation conducted by law firm Miller & Chevalier stated that former chair Rima Vassar and trustee Dennis Denno used students to exploit interim president Teresa Woodruff, among many other allegations. MSU student Saba Saad says she was one of the students listed in that report. For example, I think one issue we had was divestment. So when I've spoken to trustee Vassar about it, like briefly, briefly, I asked, how do we divest? Who's in charge of it? She said the president. Chair Vassar was the chair of the finance committee. So as she was very much involved or could have been involved in the divestment and guided us that way. Alyssa Hakim says she's communicated with board members regularly since the war in Gaza started. She says trustee Denno used his status as an Arab American to sway students in the Arab community to orchestrate attacks against the interim president of the school and the head of faculty senate. And as for the transactional relationship, it just really felt like unless we did it by coming at the president, unless we did it by coming at, you know, Jack Lipton, they wouldn't be satisfied with our strategies. I had found out that my letter was used as a part of this investigation when I read the report. Missy Chola says a letter she wrote to the Higher Learning Commission condemning faculty member Jack Lipton that's now being used to prove students were manipulated. She believes Vassar and Denno are being targeted for their support of Arab and black students. A lot of those incidents in the report seemed like it just came out of genuine care. That's one thing the other trustees don't do. They put the school and money first. These two put students first. But Saad says the report details what these trustees did, not how they look. You've retaliated against your colleagues and all of these different things. That's on you as a person. Now, Governor Whitmer has yet to decide what will happen to Vassar and Denno. We've reached out to both of them today again, but have not heard anything back. Sherry Siobhan, back to you.